Hey gang, it's Kevin Topol with JK on the Run, and since my last video, I figured I'd do another one just to show you that I really haven't shaved since that prior video. And also, and more importantly, I wanted to show you a Today Screen plugin for smartphones uh, from SBSH Software, and this one's called Facade. I'll give you a quick run through. Okay, what we have here is a standard T-Mobile Dash screen. This comes with the T-Mobile Dash as one of the few configured or pre-configured today's screens. You can see all of the applications that I've used prior here. I've got some status, time, the My Faves application, which is my five favorite people, although I only have three because I don't have a lot of friends. We have zero uh, text or multimedia messages, no SMS, one email because I've cleaned out my inbox last night over the holiday, and we've got a motor recording tonight at 8 p.m. This weekend is my son. He will be with us, and profile for the phone is normal. Getting cut off here. You get a basic amount of information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Start and go to Settings and show you SBSH Facade as a home screen. We'll change that T-Mobile Blue to one of the two new options, Facade or Facade Wide, and these are the standard out-of-the-box options. And then we'll click Done. Done again, and click Home. And hopefully, after things spin for a while, we will have a new today's screen. Hey, look at that! Now we've got a little more information. We still have the same basic time and date and on T-Mobile's My Network. But now we've got a row of indicators here in the beginning and programs. So you can see that we're uh, for battery power, the level is quite high and it is plugged in right now. You've got two memory indicators for internal memory, uh, for storage memory, then you've got applications. I can even go, let me go to the right here just to show you that shuts the device off, that's the facade settings, we'll get to that in a second. And then we have two tabs down here, we have schedule and we have tasks. And here you see my task for the record facade video, if I go down I can open that task, see information, view the details, etc, etc. I'm going to just cancel that. Well actually let's view the details. Oh there aren't any, okay. And I can do complete because I'm now recording it. Go back to the home screen. Okay, there we go. And we can also see, aside from my calendar items, which you can configure to see, I believe, up to 30 days, you can also see how many SMS messages there are, how many emails there are, and how many voicemails there are. And you can even go, I'm going down here with my D-pad, you can change the phone profile to normal, quiet, vibrate only, etc., etc. Let's go back, as you can see, there's quite a bit of information here. Let's get back into the configuration that I had mentioned. I'm up in the program row here. I'm actually going to go to the left on the D-pad, which gets me all the way over to... That's not right. Cancel that. Which gets me over to the facade settings. When I choose that, you'll see just how customizable this is once I get past the trial, because I did just download a trial. There's a 15-day trial, just so you know. You can change your background image, the height of the view, font size, how many lines per appointment, uh, days in the schedule, etc. I mean, I'm just going to scroll through, and you can see there's quite a bit here that you can do to customize this the way you want to on your smartphone today's screen. Plenty here, plenty here. Let me do one other thing. I'm going to go back into, uh, let me just say OK here. And the home screen should reload. I'm navigating on the phone in my left hand and actually using the mouse in my right hand, so I'm not as ambidextrous as I thought, but I apologize for that. Let's go back into the um, settings and change to the other default facade screen real quick. I hit the number four here, home screen. Let's change facade to facade wide, and here's why I want to show you this. And hopefully the screen refreshes okay. Let's go back to home. We went from two tabs to now three tabs. That line of programs that was on the top now has its own distinct tab, and here they all are. And again, you can see all these, and if you wanted to check how much memory was in use, just click on the memory indicator. It brings you to the standard Windows Mobile. Let's get out of there. 
and in the facade settings you can actually change what program icons show up here so what I will probably do is since I use IE quite a bit I will end up moving Internet Explorer up closer so that way in the default view it will actually just appear right there for me so it gives you quite a bit of information on your smartphone screen makes it almost more like the pocket PC or what we now call in Windows Mobile 6 the professional edition gives you that look and feel so take a look there's plenty more to see than just what I showed you here it's SBSH facade and if you want to go to SBSH just go to www.sbsh.net thanks for joining me I gotta go shave